drink was created. Kirsten. Good morning, Brian and Danielle. It all started last summer at an outdoor concert series hosted by The Mill. It's where the owners and manager of both companies came to the realization that they should team up on a coffee beer. Flash forward a few months down the road and the cold brew cream ale was born, but it didn't happen right away. There's a science to beer making. Most coffee beers are paired with a darker blend of coffee and a heavier beer, and both businesses knew it wouldn't appeal to a wide audience. After going back to the lab with multiple times, multiple times with different coffees and roasts, the, on the third try, everyone involved knew they had a winner. Now it's a blending of two well-known businesses. Every morning when I come to work, I get a park and walk down the street and I'm usually hit first with the smell of, of boiling beer coming off of our brewery. And when I cross the street and turn the corner, I get all of the roasting aromas off the mill and so I'm filled with, with the aromas of coffee. And so it's, uh, it, we should have come up with this idea sooner. Imperium Brewing has also recently teamed up for an official beer with the Omaha Supernovas, the professional volleyball team. And you can find the cold brew cream ale right now on the shelves at the four mill coffee locations with a liquor license coming up later in the show. I'll share more on the intricacies of making this drink. Brian.